Hey, Canucks fans, secondary scoring is a big reason why the Canucks are on a five-game win streak. I'm Clay Emo. I'm at Canuck Clay on Twitter. I'm at Clay Emo on Instagram. I'm the founder of the GLCBC, the Good Looking Canucks Positivity Club. And this is my Canucks take, all in one take. It's Clay's Canucks commentary for Monday, December the 30th. It's my penultimate vlog of 2019, of this decade. You guys know how much I love using the word penultimate. Thank you uh, to all of you who joined me for my real fun live stream on YouTube last night. <clears throat> As you know, I'm starting, going to do it every Sunday night at 10 o'clock Pacific time. And we had a really, really good time actually. There are um, dozens of you on with me asking a lot of really good questions, some really thoughtful questions, some silly questions. And speaking of silly, my son Jacob joined us for the last 15 minutes and uh, he was uh, a, hit, a hit as always. So I think we're going to make that a regular thing. Um, so every Sunday night, you can join me at 10 o'clock on YouTube. I'll tweet out the link prior or I'll, I'll put it on YouTube, of course, and um, you can see it right now. We went for, like I said, 57, 58 minutes, a couple of internet, uh, brief, brief internet interruptions, but otherwise uh, went off without a hitch and we were very, I was very happy with how it went. And I thank all of you for engaging me, for taking the time. Um, uh, taking time out of your Sunday night to, to be with me on YouTube. Once again, uh, we had a great time and we had a lot of fun on it. I hope you did too. So um, hopefully I'll see you next week as well. Okay, one thing we talked about, secondary scoring. You just look at the box score from last night, the Canucks 5-2 victory over Calgary, five straight wins for the Canucks. And you see Tyler Myers, two goals, one assist. Tanner Pearson, two goals, one assist. Jake Vertanen, one goal, one assist. Those are the five Canucks goals, two for... Myers, two for Pearson, and one for Vertanen. So I didn't mes mention until now, Pedersen, Besser, Miller, the guys that we expect to be um, our, our, our best players and our most important scorers. And that's the definition of secondary scoring, right? Uh, secondary scoring means anyone that's not primary scoring. And when you think of primary scoring, you think of your first line, and that would, in our case, be Pedersen, Besser, and Miller. And you think of your top D pair. In our case, it's either, you know, you could argue it's Edler or it's Hughes or or whoever may be. Um, I know both of those guys play on the left side, but you know what I mean. Actually, you could argue that sometimes uh, defensemen are considered secondary scoring as well, because I think you'd agree that generally when you think of scoring, unless you have a, like, a, like a John Carlson on your team, if, and when you think of secondary scoring and primary scoring, you think of the, your top guys as your primary scorers. Again, in our case, our lot of line. And then secondary scorers, by definition, would be our second line or anyone... Uh, you know, not playing in your top three. So that would actually include Bo Horvat. You know, some, I don't want, whatever, it's splitting hairs here. You could say that Bo Horvat's part of your core four, so he should be one of your best players, which I agree. Should he be, he be one of your primary scorers? I'm not so sure because uh, that's not his role. His role is to be a shutdown guy. His role is to play hard, to provide leadership. But I think uh, we want our primary scorers to be Pedersen, Bester, and Miller as the top line. So, but, you know, who I'm really talking about are guys like Tanner Pearson, second line, Jake Vertanen, third line, Tyler Myers, second or third D pairing, however you want to call it. And when they score, it's awesome. Like, so many, there's so many good things happen when they score. When they score, other defenders, the other team's defensemen, and the other team's checking lines have to pay more attention to um, more guys throughout our lineup. When they score, it relieves the pressure from our top line you know, in case they aren't going. It's not like they didn't have a good game yesterday. I thought our lot of line played fine. But they, uh, you know, Pedersen was snake bit on a couple chances. Uh, Besser ended up with one assist only. But you had, yeah, Peters, both Pedersen and JT Miller were held off the score sheet yesterday. And that's very rare. And that's okay if the Canucks win 5-2. You know, it'd be different if the Canucks were losing 5-2. And then the very first thing you turn to is, well, where's Pedersen? Where's Besser? Where's Miller? But thankfully, we haven't had to do that a lot this season, especially in the last two or three weeks. So that's a good thing. Uh, and... For a guy like Tanner Pearson, who I saw a stat from Jeff Patterson, over the past 22 games, he's actually the Canucks' leading scorer with 22 points. And of course, Pedersen's right behind him with 21, and Miller and Besser with 20 and 19, or whatever it is. But Tanner Pearson has been our highest scoring player over the past 22 games. I'm not sure why Patterson picks 22, maybe it's to, just to illustrate his point. But Pearson um, was outstanding yesterday. And he, I, I like him a lot. You know, I, I didn't know much about him when he played for... LA and then that, that brief stint in Pittsburgh I knew he was a skilled player I knew he's a heavy player he always scared me when he played with you know Toffoli and and Carter out in LA but we're seeing how good he is he's got really good hands he plays heavy like he's kind of like a brick wall skating around a little bit 
and and he's not afraid to go to the net, and he's got a good release. He's just got a really good nose in that. In fact, he could have had a hat trick yesterday. The Vertanen goal that got deflected off of Hannafin, Pearson was right there, and all Pearson had to do was show a bit of a bit of better hand eye coordination, and he would have had a hat trick. But you know what I mean? Or maybe he wouldn't. Uh, uh, he wouldn't have gotten another goal. But you you see what I'm saying is is Pearson always seems to be around the net. He always seems to be. Uh, um, you know, in the scoring equation. And that's awesome. That's what you want from a secondary scorer. I, I think that's great. Uh, with Tyler Myers, I think last night was a bit of an anomaly. You know, uh, two goals. The first one was a great wrist shot uh, from the point. Second one was a, a not-so-great wrist shot that even I could have saved, quite frankly. So I, I don't think we can expect three points, uh, two goals from him every game. But it's still nice to see him contribute, given that he has some offensive skill. He can skate. You know, it's kind of cool with with Hughes, Stetcher, and Myers. If you spread them out, you can have, you know, guys that uh, at least one D-man on each pairing that can skate the puck out and have some, has a, a bit of offensive creativity. So I was happy to see Tyler Myers do that. And Jake Vertanen, what else? I talked about him a lot during the live stream yesterday. He has shown a lot. Um, over, the, over this season, playing so well, scoring, assisting his hockey IQ, really improving situational awareness, all those things. And again, the that, that really nice combination of size, speed, and skill that, um, that we all have come to love. So overall, um, I, I just want to give props to the secondary scoring. It's a big reason why the Canucks have won five in a row. And, and just imagine a, a day where the secondary scores are going and the primary scores are going that's what was happening at the start of the season where we were putting in five, six goals a game. So we're, uh, you know, we we haven't scored that much all the time, but last night was a good start with five and not just a start. We've been actually playing very well, obviously five straight rising to um, second overall in the Pacific division, which is really, really cool. And it's kind of cool. You know, uh, this is kind of what I talked about for the past two or three weeks. A lot of games at home, not last night, but a lot of games at home, a lot of games against our own division and everyone else in our division is struggling. Arizona, Calgary, Edmonton, all those teams are struggling. Vegas, maybe not the only one, as they've kind of risen up a little bit um, at the same time the Canucks have. So overall, I'm in a good mood. I hope you are too. The Canucks don't play again until Thursday. That's at home, hosting Chicago. So they have a day off today, and I'm sure they'll, they'll get a practice in tomorrow, maybe have a New Year's Day off, and then, like I said, uh, the next game at home, hosting Chicago on Thursday night. So Canucks fans, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about the secondary scoring. Do you agree with me that it's important? Do you agree with my definition of secondary scoring? Basically, it's anyone that's not primary scoring, i.e. our top forward line. And who's being the revelation for you? Is it Pearson? Is it Vertanen? Is it Myers? Is it someone else? I would love to know what you think. Josh Levo, even before he got injured. I'd love to know what you think. Leave a comment low, below, or low, but leave a comment below. I'd love to read, react, or reply. Subscribe if you like to. Like this video if you like to. Enjoy the day. God bless. Go Canucks, go.